very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a man who has helped create musical history for over 50 years, the king of the vibes, Mr. Lionel Hampton. <laughs>
A couple of questions. This is a Vibra phone, a, right? Yeah, one company makes the Vibra phone, another company makes the Vibra hob. Mm -hmm. My company makes the Vibra hob. You okay? Forget and about the Vibra phone. Leave it over there. What's the difference? <laughs> uh, what's the difference between the uh, uh, this and a marimba? Well, marimba's made out of wood, and but this is made out of metal, uh -huh. and it has a, a, a motor in here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It has a pedal. So look at that. And provides then, the uh, the vibration. vibration. Yeah, yeah. And then vibrato. You play, play without it. Yeah. Yeah. Not nearly as much fun that way. Yeah. Uh, then now there's everybody I talk to in show business. At one point in their life, there's been one person or maybe two people or one event that's been responsible for really setting them uh, into a, a road of success. success Who was yeah. that for you? Well, Louis Armstrong, uh, especially with the Bible Hobbs. I was a drummer playing in a band in, in Los Angeles, California, and we had the choice of uh, we had a chance to play uh, with Louis Armstrong. And uh, he liked it so well that he has has record with him. When he got the recording studio, that was a set of Bible hops sitting in the corner. At that time, the drummer was only playing NBC. Mm -hmm. You understand? Play that for us. <laughs> Where is that on there? You see? <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wasn't it either. Wait a minute. I think that was PBS. What is it? <laughs> now, I know. How does ABC go? I think they all have one, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, there was a set of Bible hops in the corner, so Louis said, you know anything about the instrument? And I said, sure, because I had studied uh, when I was playing in the Chicago Defender Newspaper Boys Band in Chicago. Uh, Chicago I, the Friendly Newspaper Boys Band? The, the Chicago the Defender. Oh, Defender, the Chicago N Defender. Yeah, that's the yeah. name of the paper. Okay. Newspaper Boys Band. Right. And I learned how to be a percussionist, and I learned to play the xylophones. Or the marimbas, as mm -hmm. you call them. And uh, so uh, I used to listen at uh, the records of, uh, in fact, the whole band used to listen to records of Duke Ellington and, and uh, Louis Armstrong and the guys who were very you know, outstanding in jazz in those days. And I used to listen to them, and I used to listen to play all their solos note for note uh, by memory, mm -hmm. you understand? So when I got in the studio and Louis asked me did I know anything about this instrument, it was a new instrument, just, just like the xylophone, but it had a motor. And uh, so I said, yeah. So he said, play something for me. And we were in a recording session. And so, uh, Ubi Blake, you know? Uh, oh, Ubi? sure, yeah. Well, he had sent Louis a song and asked Louis to record it for him. And the name of the song was Memories of You. Mm -hmm. So Louis asked me to, uh, to play on it, and I played the introduction on Memories of You, and that was the first time jazz they ever played on the Bible Hobbs. Terrific. Now, you, you also, uh, Dinah Washington, you had, a, had yeah. an important part in her career. Now, nah, well, then I, 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 I got the uh, aux of my own after I left Lou, uh, Benny Goodman. I mm -hmm. stayed with Benny Goodman's quartet for four years and then uh, I started recruiting people to come into my band. I needed a singer and I got in Chicago and uh, it was a girl by the name of Donna, well, uh, Ruth Jones was her name. Ruth then. Jones. And uh, so she did audition for my band and I liked her singing so I said, uh, hey, can I change your name? She said, I don't care what you call me as long as you give me the job. Mm -hmm. uh, so I looked up and I said, now your name will be Dinah Washington. Dinah Washington, that's what they said to me when I took this show. I said, anything you can call me. <laughs> All right, uh, show me how to play this thing. What can we do here? <laughs> so your name's gonna be uh, Anything, just as long right, as okay. I can play. All right, okay, Dave. <laughs> Do that. Hey, go ahead.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In a couple of minutes, you're going to hear from uh, Lionel Hampton. He'll be playing with Paul in our band. And tomorrow on the program, from ABC News, uh, Sam Donaldson will be here, their White House correspondent, and uh, singer Ema Sumac, and uh, from Saturday Night Live, Jan Hooks. That will be tomorrow. And uh, Lionel Hampton is about to join us in a couple of... Kind of commotion. Uh... Oh, what, well, look, oh, look at there. I'll be darned. Ladies and gentlemen, it, it's our... Uh, Top it's our little leprechaun today, friend, uh, Chris Elliott. Chris, nice to see you. How are you? I, I don't find him. I guess you brought us uh, a holiday wish of goodwill and good luck, and perhaps you're going to read for us now a, a, a magical limerick, something like that, huh? Well, that's a good idea, Dave, but I think I'll entertain you all with a little jig. And here I go. You can help me along by clapping. Now, come on. One, okay, a little two, jig. three, four. Let's go. One. Ah, not so loud, man. Not so loud, your damn clapping sounds like thunder in me wee ears. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible. Okay, come on, here I go. Okay, a little bit. Oh, damn me, boy. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, well, well maybe, Chris, why don't, why don't you lie down a little bit, Chris? Just rest for a second. No, I'm, I'm serious, Dave. I think I am going to be sick. <laughs> I'm all right. It's just I've been up early. I haven't had a lot to eat. I was yeah. at the parade at uh -huh. around 10 with a couple of buddies from sure. Passaic. Yeah. I've been there all day. I think I'll be all right. Let okay. me just go ahead and do this okay. stupid jig here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I borrow your mug a second? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Chris. Uh, Chris, thank right. you. Uh, I'm fine. Let me just go on. <laughs> uh, Chris, why don't you... Uh, Hey, well, why don't you have Wendell drive you home or something? No, I think I'm going to walk, Dave. I think the, the fresh air will probably do me good. Okay, good. I'll be fine. And a happy St. Patty's Day to everybody. <laughs> okay, happy Chris. Thank Day. you very much. <laughs> well, that, uh, that certainly was mystical, wasn't it? Uh, our next guest has been performing for the uh, last 60 years and has uh, well earned the right to be called a legend. He has worked with the likes of uh, Louis Armstrong, Benny Goodman, and Nat King Cole, and he is the man credited with making the vibes a jazz instrument. Here tonight, with Paul and our band, it's a pleasure to welcome Lionel Hampton. <laughs> Lionel, how are you? Nice to see you.
Nice job. Yeah, Sounded yeah, terrific. Yeah. Now, what, what are you playing over there? Those are Vibra harp. Yeah, well, one company makes the Vibra harp, uh -huh. another company makes the Vibra phone. And what's, what's the xylophone? That's the... That's the, the, that's the wooden instrument. Yeah. That's the daddy of the, of the vibes. From the which vibes. these have evolved. Yeah. And, and what, what's the, what, what are marimbas? Marimbas, that's something else that involved from the xylophone. And you can play them all? Yeah, oh, yeah. Pretty much the same kind of deal, huh? Yeah, the same keyboard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me your joke. Tell you joke? Yeah. Oh, all right. A St. Patrick joke, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know... It was your idea! <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, down in uh, Atlantic City, everybody goes down as a gambler, you know, yeah. most of the primary. And so um, the kids can't gamble in, in the casino, so they... are 21, I guess. Yeah, they yeah. have to gamble in the street. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, three kids gambling out in the street, and uh, they were shooting dice. So the, the priest, the padre of the community, came by and said, Say, boy, say, throw those dice away. Say, that's a sin, gambling. Mm -hmm. Say, you do throw them away, and I'm going to show you how to make an honest dollar. All right. Make an honest buck. So he said, the first one tell me who's the most famous man in the world will get this buck. <laughs> so he asked the little Mexican boy, and little Mexican boy said, Father, said, we in Mexico had a great uh, liberator, and he liberated and gave freedom to Mexico. And he's the most famous man in the right. world. Uh, uh, Pancho, not Pancho. Pancho Villa. Juan, yeah, yeah, Juan yeah, Pizarro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, of the, yeah. one of those cats. One of those cats, right. One of those cats, right. 
Right. Juarez, that's Juarez, what they did. Yeah, okay. right. Magellan, <laughs> any of them. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so then he, he said, yeah, he's famous, but not the most famous man in the world. Mm -hmm. So he asked a little black kid, he said, who's the most famous man in the world? So he said, Ma Marvin Hagner, father. Marvin because, Hagner. Yeah, yeah. Cause he's a great fighter, right. see? He said, well, he's famous, but not the most famous man in the world. Then he asked a little Jewish boy, mm -hmm. said, tell me, son, who's the most famous man in the world? So the kid said, St. Patrick, father. Mm -hmm. So his father gave him the money. He said, but son, tell me how you happen to get arrive at the, at the right answer. He said, father, deep down in my heart, I know it was Moses, but business is business. <laughs> <laughs> business is business. We got a real commercial. We'll be right back here. We're uh, almost out of time. Lionel, nice to see you again. Thank you very much for coming. Okay, Delightful okay. to listen to you play. Thank uh, you. Uh, Ricardo Montalban, was, could that have been it? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, my thanks also to uh, Catherine Harold and everybody who helped us out with Stupid Petricks. Tomorrow, kids, from ABC News, Sam Donaldson, Ema Sumac, and from Saturday Night Live, Jan Hooks. Thank you, folks. Goodbye. <laughs>